Hello and welcome to Oxygen Not Included. This is the newest game from the makers of Don't Starve, and it is a colony management game with a lot of little micromanagey things you have to, you know, keep on top of. It's a, you know, interesting game. So we're gonna get, just jump right into it. I played it a little bit just to get myself, uh, you know, situated here and sure of what I'm doing. But let's just jump right in. All right, so while we're loading here, basic premise here is you get three guys, got to build a base from nothing. You'll occasionally get more people to come in. And basically you just got to keep on top of all of their needs while slowly building out the base. Because if you go too quick, you die. Then again, if you go too slow, you die. You got to stay on top of it. All right, so let's see. So we've got some important little stats here. We've got, uh, especially the stuff down here. So the decor expectation is how nice they expect the place to look. This will determine how quickly they gain stress passively. Their stress response here determines what they do when they're stressed. Then, of course, we got the red here and the negative traits, and then all of their skills and such. So we don't, we don't want any people that are destructive, so let's shuffle away from them. All right, so we've got, mm, let's see. No, I don't want the bottomless stomach. Um, hmm. Mouth breather, no. Mouth breathers use up too much oxygen. Alright, so we've got a vomiter who's a yokel, means they can't research. Grease monkey. Okay. That seems like a alright person. Alright, let's shuffle this one. Scaredy cat, diver's lungs. Good at construction. Hmm. Possibly. All right, and you, let's see. Do, do, do. Oop, jump past one. Slow learner. No, we don't want a slow learner for this one. Let's see. Astrophobia. Mole hands. They're good at digging. I don't have any particularly good learners. All right, let's shuffle this uh, middle one again. See if we can't get... No, not a, not a yokel. I don't want a yokel. Narcoleptic, good at learning. Alright. Your decor expectations a touch higher than I would prefer, but let's do this. Alright. Name your colony. Uh, let's see. Let's go YouTube related. So tube Tubeville? Sounds like a town. Your colony. In space. So tube station. There we go. And embark. <clears throat> All right, so we're loaded in here. All right, your crew has awoken miles beneath the surface of an unfamiliar terrestrial body. Oddly, they have no recollection of how they got here. It might be best to start digging. All right, so I'm going to immediately pause. All right, so the basic idea here, zoom out a little bit, is that you need to use the resources that you find in your immediate area to get to survive long enough to find the few resources that are infinitely renewable which are generally further out hmm so we're going to need to explore the area we're going to need to have toilets that's what it says right here colony needs toilets a whole bunch of things so let's just start let's dig out these couple of little spots cuz they always bother me and then, let's see. Where could we put some stuff? We could probably dig out over here. Up a ladder up there. Hmm. We'll pop a ladder over here. All right, we gotta dig first because we can't get the ladder until we have resources. Oh, helpful tips. Go away, helpful tips. I don't want to be helped. Okay, we have some resources. Let's pop a ladder up. And then let's dig out a bit more space. That should do. And then we'll start exploring after that. So, oops, not. Alright, there we go. Get to digging, boys and girls. Alright. 
we'll speed this up just a touch. Get things going a little bit quicker. Oh, I, I can keep that running. Dig that out. Stupid sand is affected by gravity. Alright. So what we're going to do here is go into plumbing, outhouse, pop down a pair of outhouses. That way they are less likely to run into trouble if uh, one of them is out of service. Which can happen. Alright, so... Base. Let's pop in some tiles here, make things a little bit nicer. Tiles here, make things a little bit nicer. There as well. Help uh, increase the decor a touch. Are they cold up there? So you get these overlays. Oh, there's a bit of cold in the area. Alright. Pause up again while we look. All right, so we have a cold biome over here. This is useful for things. We have one of these purple ones up here, which tend to be warm. Mm, don't see anything else yet. So we've got water down here, which we will need to get to. All right, so we've got a little bit of food to start in this box here. But we're going to need to get on top of food before too long. All right, let's dig out, touch. We want to leave the oxalate alone. Allow it to uh, be oxygen for a bit. Which means that's going to be in the way. We can dig out above it. See if it can't. See if we can't get around there. All right. And that. Oh, not the... All right, let's get digging. Okay, there we go. How are you doing? All right, that's going down pretty quick. That won't last long. All right, so let's keep going that way. Oh, dig, dig, that's what I'm looking for. Dig that way, we should dig that guy up. Well, actually, yeah, we're going to dig that guy up. We've got some muckroot, so we got a little bit of extra calories. Oh, and all that annoying sand going to have to get dug back up again. Alright. So, how are we doing temperature-wise? Doing pretty good. I'm not going to be able to do much about that. However, if you will move to there... You can put a few tiles in. And they're idiots. Okay, you move out of the hole. It said move out of the hole. And you got your head stuck in the tile. <sighs> okay. Now let's see if we can't get that tile back in. There we go. There! Alright. Switch over to dig. That. And get those. So this blue stuff I'm leaving alone is oxalite. It produces oxygen, but slowly deteriorates over time. One of those initial resources that we get to use. And a bunch of sand in the bloody way. Get that copper. We're going to need that in a minute. Oh, skill increase. Who got what? Oh, the digging went up. Alright. 
Okay, that's not what I really wanted. Let's zoom back out. I don't really ever want to zoom in like that too much. All right. Let's see what we got base-wise. So this manual airlock is going to be important. Let's get some more tiles in. Let's see if we can't pile up that whole area. Probably going to want to put tiles in here shortly, too. We're complaining about the temperature. Okay, yeah, because it is getting cold over there. All right. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to dig you out so that you're high enough. And then we need to get on our research. So we need power stuff. A manual generator. We'll pop there. We will put in a tiny battery, just so people don't have to run all the time. And we will get some electrical wire heading over that way. That. All right. Oh, and it's nighttime. I didn't give them any beds yet, so they're just sleeping wherever. This will raise their stress, but we're early enough that they're still going to have that new hope, so it's alright for a day or two. But that's about it. So we're still on top speed, just get through the night here. Okay. Here we go. Get some of that stuff built. We need it. Where is my research stuff? Stations. Why do I not have missing resources? Raw metal. Oh. Alright, so I'm going to have to actually dig out a bit more metal first. Let's just do that. All good. <clears throat> so the reason I'm going to put the research station over here by the uh, cold is that uh, the supercomputer, the second tier research station, produces a lot of heat. So we're going to want to have it in a colder area to help offset that a bit. Oh, alright. We're having lunch. Using the bathroom. Come on, guys. You really need to dig. Alright. He's running to power up that battery, even though it's not powering anything yet. Hey, he raised his athletics. That means he'll be a little bit better at, you know... Generating power in the future. Alright, so now we can make our research station. Make a research station there. Put some power into it. And that's going to allow us our tier 1 research, which is what we're going to focus on at the moment. Okay. That's in place. Open research. Alright, so... There's a couple of real important things to get going first. There's farming in order to get them food. And then you've got power regulation, which will give you this heavy watt wire, which you basically want to use instead of the wire that I already put down as, as soon as you can get it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get farming first just because I want to be on top of the food situation. However, immediately going to go into the... Uh, the power regulation after that. Now, you got this novice research here, you gotta have to tell it to fabricate it. You do it continuously. There we go. And now, hopefully, people will get on that. I said, hopefully, people will get on that. Okay, there we go. Now, let's take a quick look here. We're gonna need some access to some of this stuff down below. Let's take a moment to plot some of this out. How did you get up there? Oh, for... Alright, well, first we need to save this idiot. That's going to be half our game is saving idiots. What are you doing? You're delivering dirt. Okay, good. Idiot is saved. I guess that'll be a good place to have a ladder. Alright, so I think we're going to put our farm over here. And we're going to need to put in some tiles. Let's put in some tiles and such while we are waiting for 
the research to get done. Okay, they're gonna continue building the ladder and ignore the tiles. Come on, guys. Okay. <clears throat> oh yeah, I forgot about that red alert thing. Huh? Never really had to use it. And there went a bristle blossom seed. We'll get to all this stuff in the future. That oxalate is going to cause this area to flood. Hmm. Alright, I should probably also work on getting them a bedroom and stuff. Um, let's see. That's my, uh, breathability. Not too bad, not too bad. I'm also going to eventually need to make a CO2 trap. I should probably start in on some of this stuff now while I'm thinking about it. So, let's see. CO2 is heavier than oxygen, and so is going to sink to the lowest point it can get to. We got some water there, some water there. Mm, let's see. If I do that, that'll go right through that oxalite, and I don't want that. If I go that way, I'm going to trigger water. Mm, if I go all the way over, I guess all the way over here is fine. Alright, let's pop in some ladders. Not that way. Let's try this again. Alright, let's see. That's... What is that? That's oxygen? Okay. Oh, good. We've got one of these, uh... Slime biomes over here. This is where we're likely to find a geyser. Good thing I'm heading that way, then. Oh, we got a good amount of algae right there, if I need it. Um, let's see. Because we're basically going to want to use up what resources we have to get to the infinite resource of water. And you can also get, like, some slime and stuff if you find the right animals and such. Let's see that going. You're doing that. I guess we can just let this run for a bit. Let them work on the ladders. Maybe pop in some uh, more tiles. Oh yeah, and it's night again. I should really build them beds. We will uh, dig out an area for that. Let's see. That should be big enough. In fact, let's see. We should have... It's like furniture. So furniture, there it is. Alright, cot. Alright, we're going to make our cot out of sandstone because we have a ton of it. One, two, three. <clears throat> and this will open up this oxalite, so that'll help keep this area... Uh, nice and breathable for them at night. In fact, what we're going to do here is we're going to prioritize. Turn it up to a 7. Do that. We're going to want to make our power generation priority 8. So now this means that they're going to do this before they do some of the other stuff. How's my research going? Eighteen of twenty, so almost there. <clears throat> All right. We'll just let these guys do their thing for a bit. They now have beds, so when night comes around again, no research task selected. Okay. Open research. 
Up on down, we need that power regulation. Here are set, go. And now that we have that, we can start putting in planter boxes. Pause that while I uh, get some planter boxes on the go. Do 16. There we go. We'll see how this goes for them. Get that research going. <clears throat> Alright, so let's see. How am I doing on dirt and such? Oh, I got plenty. Um, let's see. We've got business remaining. Oh, what do we got? Oh, that would be possibility of a new duplicate. I'm not quite ready for a new duplicate yet. Well, let's see if they've got any good ones. Alright, let's see. Loud sleeper. No, let's avoid that. Can't dig it into yokel. That's terrible. Yokel, uncultured, so you don't care about decor. Good, you're good at digging. You won't be able to research. That's okay, I only really need a couple of people for research. Ah, eh, why not? Alright. Let's get them. And let's go ahead and... Now, you know what you can do without a bed for a bit? Because you have low decor expectation. I just want to let some of this oxalite burn away naturally first. Actually, how is this doing? Oh, there's tons of it. Oh, and some of the oxalite that was over here has already burned away. Beautiful, beautiful. We're going to need to get down there. Hmm. This is going to prove interesting. The water set up in this is just a weird layout this time. Alright, so we've got some of these planter boxes. Let's start with some mealwood seeds because they're easy. They don't tend to stick around very long unless you are really, really on top of things. But... They don't require too much. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, you know what? I didn't click plant. That's what the problem is. Okay, let's pause that up while I do this so they can go do that all at once. There you Okay. Alright, let's see how things are going. Well, it's night, apparently. Ooh. Not so breathable over there anymore. Oh, and your bed, the oxalate, gave out. Alright. Oh, insufficient oxygen generation, of course. Well, we're gonna need to get some tiles under these guys. Uh, what else are we going to need? You can see my stress level's going up a little bit. Yep, very soon here we're going to be needing oxygen. Fortunately, we've got some of the stuff for it. just really want to finish power regulation before I do too much more on that. How are we doing on our research? 12 of 20. Alright. Get this going. Those guys doing that. These early days tend to be really slow, because you only have so many people to work with, and, well, you only, you gotta devote a lot of them to research. Just basically means that things move slowly at first. We will, uh, you know, speed up as we go, but just a lot. Ooh, fertilizer. We're gonna need that. Alright, so we've released that. How's my oxygen doing? Not so great over by the research. I'm gonna have to do something about that. 
Let's see. Well. Oh, I don't know what I want to do. Because this is not going to work as a oxygen trap if I can't get stuff down there. So I'm going to need to big, dig out another layer, I think. So let's see. We're going to want... Make sure you're out of sandstone. Um, right here. Yeah. That'll be another layer there. We will deconstruct building here, because we don't want to disrupt the wire at the moment. Alright, and ladder from sandstone right there. Then we'll use our dig tool. Just dig out a nice four high area. Pop in a couple of aisles here. Keep things from going too bad. Alright. Go, go, go. You guys are all being over there. Alright. Things are starting to slow down a bit here. This is still an alpha build, so, you know, things tend to, uh, have a little bit of issues from time to time. Most of it can be solved by a restart. I think I'm just about done with my, uh, preferred episode length here, so we're gonna just go a little bit longer. Hopefully it'll, uh, it'll finish. Oh, we got our research done. Alright, so, check out our research. So now we got the power regulation, so we can do some stuff with that. So, we're still stuck to just our first tier of research here, because we don't have our supercomputer yet. But, we can plan for the future. So, we are going to want sanitation sciences, advanced filtration, percolation. So, percolation is where you have the technology to basically use water, which, once we find a geyser, will be renewable, to deal with all of our air stuff. So we're going to want to get to that eventually. It's, it's actually a moderately high priority. But we're also right next to this cold biome, so we want to get to the, our insulated tiles to help keep the cold out. Temperature modulation is on the way. Gas piping. All right, well, I guess we're going to go gas piping. All right, and let, the, let people do things. Let's see how this gas is going. Alright, alright, okay. And while we're doing that, let us switch over to our electrical view. Electrical, electrical is one of these. That's the, that's the light overlay. There's the electrical power grid. Alright, so we want to deconstruct all of our wires. Alright. Every last wire is getting deconstructed. Excellent. Now, we're going to come over to power. Going to not use the power overlay for the moment. Let's get a proper sized battery in here. In addition to the tiny, there's no reason to really get rid of it. Then we're going to get some heavy watt wire. And we're going to run that all the way over here, up into that, up into that, and up into that. Um, then we're going to get our, that refinement, uh, stations. Gonna try and get our supercomputer going. Pop that right there next to the cold area and run some power over to it too with the heavy watt wire. Bam. All right. Go, go, go. Building everything out of copper at the moment because that's all I have access to. And for most things, it's going to be alright, unless you really need it to uh, handle temperature in a different way. Skill increase. Uh, athletics and construction, nice. Alright, so we're going to let our guys go ahead and keep going here. Going to work on that. Actually, now that we have the supercomputer, let's pull this up. So we can tell it to go 
the installation. And what it'll do is it'll finish gas piping, immediately start on temperature modulation, and then immediately start on insulation. So I won't have to come in and futz with this again until uh, we're done with insulation. So people can just get moving. And it's nighttime. And great. All right. So we've lost a little bit more of our oxalate here. Let's get that going. Uh, let's dig out this area here and that and we're gonna need now that we have the heavy watt wire and all that we are gonna want to start producing some oxygen so we've got these algae terrariums here which will pop a couple of down right there because that seems to be where our co2 is mostly collecting at the moment Then we got the algae deoxidizer, which we will pop in right there and wire up with the heavy watt wire. Just pop it in like that. All good. And oh, they're having lunch. I'm like, where is everybody? <laughs> Alright, so these algae terrariums are going to slowly consume this CO2 and convert it into oxygen. The algae deoxidizer here, which as soon as it is finished being built, I'm actually going to turn off for the moment. There we go. All right, it's there. We're going to disable the building. So nobody will use it for the moment. Well, okay, as soon as they decide to actually turn it off. There we go. This produces new oxygen, but uses algae at a alarming rate. So, we're only going to want to use that in spurts. We got that. Let's go ahead and bring our ladder down a little bit more. Ooh, there. And we will dig this out a bit. Like that. Alright, let's just get this little bit here done, and then we're going to wrap up for the for this episode. Alright, so we're going to pop down a couple more of the algae terrariums there and there. Let them build that. See how our breathability is doing. Slowly getting not as bad, I think. Oh. I think, uh, yep, our research just completed. Well, let's get rid of all these. And let's see. Um, we were going to look for here. All right, so now I have these gas permeable tiles. So before we wrap up here, what I'm going to do is pop in some gas permeable tiles in these locations to help the air flow a little bit better. I'm going to pop one in there, too, just to help get that... CO2 out of the corner. And we'll open this up in a, you know, a later date. Alright, so those will get built in the next episode. That is it for now. And all of you guys, have a good one.